What's up, guys, gals, and minions? It is me, the one proxy, and as you can see here, we have. Kutro? Where the fuck is Kutro? There's just a frog on the screen. Oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a frog just chilling out. We are playing Puppeteer and it's pretty freaking awesome as you know. But now we must continue on. Let's just try and see if we can find some more of these Lemony Sherman sparkles and these jewels. There we go. Then we can continue on with the adventure. What's going to happen next, Minions? I don't freaking clue, but it can't be the ship because it seems that there's nowhere else to go. Let's see what happens, though. End of the line, you build-sucking livestock. I'll see you to Davy Jones. But first, I'll have back me treasure, along with me ship. Zoinks! We'll never give it back! Not even a piece of a piece of eight! Gold and silver be a heavy burden when you're sinking. <laughs> Captain Gaff's sword darted like lightning as he swashed pig's buckles and fleeced sheep's philanity. A burst! Me treasure! That's money, you raven doubloonatic! Uh... Could we please avast forward to the part where you cough up your moonstone shards? Uh, never! We'd so to be shark bait! Ahoy! Moby! What the? Jeremy Timber! Hey! That's cheating, you scurvy... whatever! Darn it! We can't let him get away! Captain, is your ship submersible? But of course, me beauty, when a lass wants to submerge, Captain Gaff and the Jolly Lamb Ham are happy to oblige. Really? Oh, you're the best! Shouldn't take more than, say, three days? Ugh, you are so not the best. We'll do this the hard way. Deep breath, kiddo. Oh, man overboard! Again? And so, with the footprint of urgency firmly impressed upon his behind, Kutaro was off to the foul abyss of Davy Jones's locker to bring pig, sheep, and their vessel, the Moby, to justice. Oh my goodness, Minions, that was amazing! Bravo! Bravo indeed! <laughs> that was so cool, I enjoyed it! What did you think that means? Comment section below. Are we gonna actually go into a submarine whale now? <laughs> I can't believe there's such a thing as a summer well. Oh boy. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Yay! Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. So does that mean that I got all the children's souls in that level? Um, I, get, I assume when the narrator says all of them, that it means I actually got all of them in that level, which is pretty cool! Also, I think that's been the first time I've actually got all the souls in a level. Can I complain? That's really awesome! After being trapped on the Jolly Lanham, obtaining the pirate's power, and joining forces with Captain Gaff, Kutaro nearly cornered Pig and Sheep. The epic chase continues as Kutaro dives to the bottom of the sea. Goodness, is that a gigantic octopus there? I am not looking forward to this. I hate octopuses. Just like, um, have you ever seen 40,000 Leagues Under the Sea? That chisel is creepy as fudge. Just tentacles and... Ugh. Anyway, curtain two, here we go. Now back to Kutaro's tail. Down in the depths lived a plethora of mind-numbingly mystical creatures who happened to like their freedom. So, as you might imagine, they and the god of the sea it didn't exactly crack open the champagne when the Moon Bear King took over. Well, the tyrant knew a pack of unruly sea monsters could be trouble, so he ordered General's Pig and Sheep to pollute the Moonshine Sea with magic oil. It transformed the Sea God's servants into dastardly, greedy creatures that devoured everything in their path. As our brave little heroes dove deeper, they found themselves in a world of darkness where the water ran black and sunlight was a distant memory. What is up with this ocean? I'd say I've never seen anything so gross, if I could actually see. In time, the two arrived at an ancient and secret palace at the bottom of the sea. Within it dwelled a gargantuan god whose strength had been all but sapped by the tyrant's arm. <laughs> Oh. Where are we? Oh. Are you okay? Seriously, what is up? Boat is up, boat is up in the underwater. 
Okay, should we try this out? I'm a little nervous. I'm not very good at driving, but here we go. Oh my goodness. You must save my ocean, my scrumptious Ica and Oni, my Gorda and Abby, and especially my Toro. Oh, and don't forget the Anago and Hotato, and all the other edible white fishes and other fish. He sure knows the sushi menu. That's my kind of god. Squid went squid. I think the squid on point is showing us the way. Atta boy, give that squid a cookie. Watch out! Squids don't like cookies, like shrimps. Give him a shrimp or something. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know why you'd feed a torpedo squid a shrimp in there. They don't even got mouths. <laughs> Wait, look! These shrimps look. Oh, look, there's a shrimp. Lucky, 
I would give anything for one mouth-watering meal. I can't get my mind up all that delicious sushi. Or maybe some calamari. Minions, look! A head pot underwater, which makes little to no sense because you'd think the head would be floating out of the pot. But anyway, let's see what this one is. We wouldn't want to get rid of the treasure head. So let's see what is going to replace the blossom head. Survey says... Oh, with the barrel head, awesome. Oh, and some moon sparkles too, just for good measure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's my torpedo squid gone? I'm not entirely sure, minions. Let's go find another one. There he is! Kutaro was on snack. Uh, excuse me, on track to finding the Kraken and stealing back the God of the Seas Trident. It was a worthy cause. Picarina could picture the clam bakes already. Hey, we're not in this for the seafood. We're in it for some big fat moonstone sharks. Oh, I, I mean, we're in it because it's like the right thing to do, yeah? Nice try, darling. Jump, minions! Oh my goodness! Damn sea enemies! Okay, here we go. What are these things? I'm not entirely sure, but they eat squid for some reason. Not very nice. But I lost my barrel head! The God of the Sea's squid carried Kutaro even deeper into the Kraken's briny lair. Oh boy, here we go, minions. Wait, wait, wait! My ship has! Oh, god damn it. Never mind. Jump! We can do just two hands. They had plenty to contend with between a smack of freewheeling jellyfish, treacherous spikes in the terrain, and rocks sharp enough to shave them. Oh boy, not the shrimp food! It makes you go too fast, minions! Oh boy. Kaboom! Freedom is mine! Oh, hello, let's hop As he went deeper into the trench, Kutaro noticed the marine life was getting just a little bit more freaky. Tell me about it. Jump! Oh my goodness! Just then, a ferocious fish with a built-in headlight and a nasty set of gnashers decided to crash Kutaro's crew. Thanks for warning It's an angler fish! Kutaro was in hot water of his own. One after another, he was beset by murderous deep-sea menaces. A crab! Oh, I love crab! Oh, but I love everything! Ow! Oh, jeez! This is tearing me apart! I want crab, I want anglerfish! Why can't I have the whole menu? Kaboom! The menu was tearing Kutaro apart too, but he fought on, hoping to reach the Kraken soon. Minions! That was really close! I nearly died there! The game doesn't give you much warning when it's going to shove you into something really dangerous. Okay, let's try and keep going, Minions, unless I get my butt kicked. Oh boy, where are we going? I have no freaking clue. The jellyfish, as it turned out, were on the good guy's side. Sure, they didn't know Kung Fu, but they were masters at just sort of floating there, which made them perfect stepping stones for Kutaro. Thanks, jellyfish! I salute you! Kaboom! Portal of freedom! There we go, thank you, jellyfish! At long last, Kutaro reached the ocean's darkest depths. With sunlight out of the picture and oily goop mucking up the water, the whole place looked like a sloppy excuse for nightfall. That looks like a shark. Is it wax? Doesn't look like it, fairy princess. Oh my goodness. I hate when the teeth fall down. You feel it's going to kill you or something. Don't trust this thing, I have to say. But Minion's going to end this one here. It's been pretty awesome so far. I'm loving this underwater section. What do you think to it? Comment section below. I would love to know. Have you been able to do it? I've been hit during those little torpedo squid moments. I'd love to know that too. But anyway, let's join me on. If you've not spots Minion giveaways, and definitely check out the Proxmo's Facebook page. The more giveaways competitions are just awesome, awesome updates. And I will see you guys, girls and minions, next time.